what's going on everybody? Right now, I'm just making coffee because, in all honesty, I have no time for caffeine withdrawals if I want to get anything done. And I want to shoot a video today just talking about some things. So the first thing I got to do, I got some coffee into me. And maybe we'll go outside for a little bit, sip of the coffee, tell some stories. And I think what we're going to talk about today is why I don't really like social media and what it means to me being a YouTuber. I right, anyway, have to get my coffee and stuff figured to come outside. Yeah, so back about like I think it was 2007, I had actually put out my first YouTube video. It was actually one from a live show where we called ourselves To Be Determined. And YouTube wasn't exactly a thing that I had ever intended on doing or seeing me. I never really planned on doing it. It just is one of those things that just, it kind of happened. As my buddy Steve, he shot a video. And it was pretty cool, and uh, at the time it was awesome. It was just straight up camera audio, cuts out. It's the first video that's ever on the channel. And I play a solo with my buddies Terp and Christian and a guy named Dan, wherever Dan fell off the map to. If you ever see this video, man, leave a comment, reach out. I put that up there, and eventually it started becoming a thing that I kind of wanted to do a little bit more. But um, times were different back then. Uh, Facebook was a fairly new thing. I think it was about around for maybe one or two years at that point in time, and well, Facebook at that time was, uh, it, the timelines and everything was, was way different. It was kind of the cool thing everybody had to be on and it was awesome. Like, and I could get videos out to my friends and stuff and had no problem getting the views on stuff. But lately, some things have changed. Oh man, this will keep, this, this right here will keep this, keep this withdrawals away. It's like I said earlier, we don't need the headaches. So let's explain a little bit about the Facebook feed. Back at one point, the Facebook feeds were always chronological and everybody saw all the things that you were posting as long as they were on at the same time if they went all the way through the feeds and whatnot. But lately, a lot of things have changed. Specifically, the Facebook algorithm itself is different because they don't have a chronological feed, they have an optimized feed for you. So whatever you are, actually interacting with most of the time is the kind of content that you're going to be delivered in the feed. So a lot of people like right-wing politics, left-wing politics, guitar, whatever it is, that's the kind of thing you're gonna see. I mean, I am purposely just show that as memes. Like I just actually like the people's content who post memes all the time because that's what it's kind of good for. But problem is, is that Facebook actually throttles back all that kind of content that's external like youtube stuff they want you to upload to native facebook things and i don't want to i don't feel facebook's value is always that always there now if that's just my personal opinion it doesn't mean i'm actually right in this case i actually think that it's just kind of like i'm only getting this stuff out to my friends and it might get the initial view count going but the issue with just getting that initial view count going on there is that I'm not exploring outwards. I might pick up a couple new fans here and there. Damn, I have a bunch of people like, why don't I just keep showing up? No idea. And like, oh. Yeah, people have probably never actually seen a vlogger before. But yeah, I'm hanging out, you know, by a bunch of dumpsters. And that's something else I want to talk about shit posting and the reason I, I do like a little bit of youtube shit posting but not a whole lot and that's kind of one of the things i want to talk about is like just kind of doing things kind of more for like the right reasons i see now there's some actually really really awesome shit posting channels out there and i would say like kind of like meme channels and that kind of stuff and i would say like a few of the really good ones are actually kmac 2021 rudy ayub hey rudy what's going on man and rudy's actually a super nice guy i've never talked to kmac 2021 rudy's probably one of the guys who's gonna make it big and he just has a really interesting weird sense of humor and that kind of like posting actually works really really good for him for me i don't think it would be doing the right reasons although i love memes i love making jokes and these little subtle things i just don't think that kind of making that kind of channel is the kind of thing for me i like being a personality on youtube and whatnot i know like on facebook it's hard to get the views and stuff and like if you're a meme channel it seems like they explode quite a bit but really at the end of the day i'm not really not a meme channel i like doing humorous things and whatnot but at the end of the day i'd really just want to do like kind of music and more educational kind of things with while well, having some fun and like I'm not saying i wouldn't do like a stupid meme post once in a while and uh 
These people probably all think I'm completely weird right now, hanging out by a bunch of dumpsters with a camera in front of my face, talking to a sentient object. But uh, I'm not saying I won't do that because I'd definitely be making posts like that once in a while. But you know, you just gotta, you just gotta do you. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not into YouTube for the money and stuff. I'm just in it to put content out and just you know, be myself and do certain things so even though it's a little bit tougher I still am gonna keep doing it because I think there's some value in doing that for those dumpsters where I actually used to uh, work in that strip mall I have all kinds of like, crazy stories about that and you know when I was there I used to the, pretty much the only thing I ever ever thought about oh there we go the only thing I ever ever thought about doing was playing guitar and doing all that kind of stuff when I worked there I never ever wanted to stay but yeah this is actually uh, one of the actual nice places behind what made a friend of mine called the great expanse of fail I think another big great expanse of fail can still be you know being on social media too much especially like Facebook and all that kind of stuff I mean we spend so much time doing Facebook and I find these days it's just it's an absolute waste you just sit on there and you're just seeing what other people are doing it's not really helping me do the YouTube thing and personally I don't really want a big Facebook following it might work for some people but for myself I don't really think it's actually something that I really want to stick with yeah I figured I'd come down here for the river this is actually the nine mile river by the way another thing I want to just talk about when doing like this kind of like social media presence and being a social media being on social media and stuff like it's important to have some some social media presence out there I just feel like if Facebook maybe isn't the thing that's working for me I personally I, I'm out there Instagram and whatnot one of the things I've noticed lately is that I've been working on other projects and there's like side of me I started to get into this once a week YouTube upload thing you now some people say to do it every day and whatnot but I think that people who start putting out content almost every day it's just not it doesn't really work you start putting out kind of just rubbish content just things it just seems like it's faked it's forced it's rushed it's not high quality I see that I'm not gonna name any particular youtubers I will say one who I think does an incredible job of that would be actually Casey Neistat he doesn't actually put out too many daily things anymore but when he puts out a video it's super high quality content although he was known as a daily vlogger but that's kind of that stuff's kind of hard for me I work five days a week like I don't have time to put out daily content on YouTube. Mind you, I gotta say one of the most satisfying things is actually being on YouTube and doing that and getting that stuff out there to people. It's a lot of work and whatnot, but it's, it does the job. Like, I, f I feel good about it. And the th that's the thing, like, it's a different kind of dopamine hit than Facebook. I don't really feel that satisfied all, all that much when I get likes on Facebook and things like that because especially for a normal status because it doesn't really mean all that much to me to actually have that kind of presence online on Facebook to be like, oh cool, a bunch of friends liked it. I'm glad I entertained them somehow. I feel it's good ones videos, but the problem is I don't get the videos out there and let's be honest, the Facebook algorithm <laughs> kind of, it's all crap. But at the end of the day, I'm really starting to think that my time on Facebook, like. I think it's soon going to be coming to an end. It's going to suck because there's people I like to I am in contact with on there and whatnot. But you know, most of the people I talk to, they've got my phone number, they got my Instagram, they've got all that kind of stuff. And I won't be leaving Instagram at all. That'll be sticking around. I just feel like it has a little bit more worth. Seems like people are somewhat more paying attention on there uh, compared to Facebook. Because, like I said earlier, nobody's using Facebook for the same kind of reasons anymore. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use Facebook. You don't want to, but I just feel like. Facebook's kind of had its day, and especially for like a YouTuber like myself, trying to put out content, it does. It just seems like a waste of time. It's like the algorithm in 2019 seems to be throttling those YouTube links more and more and more, where people don't see them. And I think another thing just to understand is that people have lives. They're not always going to be watching your content. Maybe not everybody cares about it. If they don't want to watch it, then don't force them to watch it. Don't tag your, every one of your Facebook friends on your YouTube video just because you want to get them to watch it. And, I mean, we all want the views. We all want people to say, hey, this is good. Sometimes we actually do want the constructive criticism. And in saying that, you're always going to run into the trolls and whatnot on there too. But it's just how it goes. But I'm just going to conclude this thing by saying like, these days on social media, you can say you're whatever. You can say you're a producer, an entrepreneur, a musician and whatnot and post pictures of stuff and you know how to work with the algorithm and people pay attention to you that way as they like the two second content but at the end of the day i think you really you just got to be putting out meaningful content and like as where i do guitar i play bass guitar I record music and whatnot i want to be putting out music not necessarily so much always vlog videos and that kind of stuff i think there's some 
some weight to be had in there. I want to be teaching people stuff. And I've got some ideas for some bigger videos coming up. And I think I'm going to focus on those. And uh, I'll probably still be putting out some little bits of fun content and stuff once in a while. And uh, whether people watch it or not, I'll keep doing it because every time I keep doing something, I keep learning something new. For me, it's time to, you know, get on with the rest of my day. I got to head into the store where I used to work up here. Got to go head up to the great expanse of fail and, you know, pick some stuff up and do some things. So, I'm gonna end this thing off with saying, hey, come over here, click that subscribe button, click the like button, you know, do all the YouTuber stuff. Uh, go like my page, Bauer YT. And you can also like Brian underscore Bauer one on Instagram. And I will see you guys all in one of the next videos coming up. And I'm sure I'll have some new content out really soon. And uh, maybe I'll do more of this vlogging thing because it is actually kind of fun. All right, guys, I will talk to you as all later. See us.